Hi and welcome to the Belfry. My name is Chris Ryan, this is the Brabazon Golf Course and in this video we're talking about the impact and we're talking about how you can stop flipping through the impact which is causing you to miss strike the ball and hit those weak iron shots. Just before we get into that video, in the corner of the screen you should have my social media platforms so if you don't already then please go ahead and follow me on those. So we are talking about the impact and we are talking about those golfers who feel that they flip the club past their hands through impact, they get this very extended lead wrist and they tend to struggle with striking the golf ball and they tend to struggle with distance. You can see I've got three golf balls teed up. I'm going to hit the first two from the same delivery position but I'm going to make one change to that delivery position and I'm only going to hit the ball 20 or 30 yards, just a short distance but I'm really going to try and make sure I hit that golf ball straight. So I've got my sort of target down there which is the middle of the fairway and what I'm going to do is I'm going to set myself up and I'm going to find a delivery position here. But as I say, I'm going to make one change. And what I'm going to do from there is I'm just going to try and hit that ball, I'll say about 20 yards pretty straight. And we're going to see what my impact looks like and what happens through the golf ball once I've made those two changes. So, let's do the first one. I've only got a six iron, so there's my setup. And I'm just going to find my delivery position. Now this isn't exactly what it would be like for a golf swing, I haven't really got so much dynamic movement to my legs, but effectively that's where I would be delivering the golf club from. Now the first change I'm going to make is I'm going to rotate the club face to the right. So I'm changing nothing other than I've rotated the club face to the right. Now the way I do that is I feel like I start to have some shape in my lead wrist. So, let's do that again. Let's find that delivery position. Okay, let's rotate the club face to the right. Now I'm going to try and hit this golf ball 20 yards, but pretty straight. Okay, and I'd say I did a pretty good job of that. Ball went pretty straight, strike was okay, but just look at where I was post-impact. So, let's do the second shot. <clears throat> Take my setup, find my delivery. Now this time, I'm going to twist the golf club excessively to the left. So I feel like I'm rotating the back of my lead hand down towards the ground. That's my second delivery position. Right, now let me try and hit the golf ball again, pretty straight from there. Okay, and again, I'd say I did a pretty good job of that. It's gone about 25, 30 yards, nice and straight. But just look at the difference in where I was post-impact. The main differences here are much more structure to my arms, lead wrist is not extended, I've got a huge amount more rotation through my body, and all that was in an attempt to get that club face to that ball square. Both of those shots, I was in my mind 100% aware of where that ball had to go, and because I was aware of where that ball had to go, I did whatever I needed to do necessary to make that ball go at my target. Both of those shots went pretty much at my target. The first one was very high, and the second one was much lower. And all that was down to was due to where the club face was positioned at last parallel. That made a huge difference to how I had to transport the club through the golf ball to hit my target. So the purpose of this video is really to get you to understand that if you are struggling with your impact, you feel that like you're flipping, you've maybe put it on camera and you can see that the club head is passing your hands, the lead wrist breaks down too quickly and you are desperately trying to keep the hands forward, it may well be that you need to look a little bit earlier in your golf swing to find the real cause for that issue. Now, if we look at the two swings that I just did, the first one was not correct because I had to do this. But equally, the second one was probably not correct because I had to have a lot of sort of hold off with my body, with my arms. So really, we're looking for something in between those. But really, what we're starting to say here is that if we look at the impact and what happens through impact from face on, we can often have a guess as to where the club face is positioned halfway down by what we see there. If we can get you to the point where at last parallel, we've got the leading edge slightly turned down, so not vertical, but slightly turned down, to me, that gives you the greatest chance of using your pivot and delivering the golf club with the right handle condition, with the right arm condition, and allowing you then to go into that nice finished position. So, 
quite a good little idea to place the ball on some tee pegs and hit the ball 20 or 30 yards. But let's find this delivery and let's try and tweak the club into this position or this sort of condition that we would like. And from there, we can start to use our pivot and start to generate a better set of motions through impact. Right, let me hit this one. I've got a six iron here. So I'm going to hit this one full, but I'm basically going to try and find the happy medium between those two. And if I can do that, I should be able to find my good impact. Okay, pretty happy with that, nice and straight. Divot after the ball suggests my hands are forward, ball's gone pretty straight, which also gives me the indication that my club face was pretty neutral at impact. So, if you struggle with flipping the golf, the club through the impact area, you're struggling with the strikes and the distance, you may well want to address that, but the issue may be much earlier in the golf swing, it may be down to how you're putting the club face into sort of the delivery position, and from there, if you are trying to hit target, you may well have to make some poorer moves through impact. So check your delivery, check your club face, and if you can get those two things correct, you'll hopefully be able to create a much, much stronger impact and hit some better shots on the golf course. Hope that helped. If it did, please click the like button. Any comments, you can post those in the boxes down below. And if you don't already, then please subscribe to my channel. It's absolutely free. There is a link in the description box down below. Loads more videos on there and loads more being uploaded weekly. Clicking that link just means you won't miss any of that new content. Thanks again for watching, and hopefully we will see you again next time.